guys doing? Good. Hey, we have a great show for you guys tonight. Corin Nemich is here. Parker Lewis can't lose. Stargate SG-1. Many things. We also uh, have the music of Abby Waterworth. How much is that water worth? Lots. Hey, and we're gonna start out uh, a thing right here. Now, Mo, can I have your mic? Um, because we're gonna, we're gonna play a new game um, called Can Jeff Find an Interesting Audience Member? All right, so I'm here in the audience trying to find out, can we find an in interesting audience member? Sir, what's your name? Mike. What do you do? Sales. No. <laughs> All right, and uh, what's your name? Sue. Sue, what do you do? I'm a nurse. Okay. Tell me something interesting about you besides being a nurse. I'm a mother of three children and two grandchildren. Pretty good. Let's see if we can find someone more. <laughs> Interesting. All right, what's your name, sir? Rob. Rob, what do you do? I'm a doctor. <laughs> All right. What, what's your name? Stephanie. Stephanie, what do you do? I'm a doctor. What kind of doctor? Internal medicine. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I'm going to the next row. <laughs> you guys looked boring. Okay. What's your name? Kathy Ledbetter. What do you do, Kathy? Well, I'm retired, but I used to make red solo cups. <laughs> you made red solo cups? Yes. What does this mean? I don't know. Party. <laughs> Party time, I guess. This was in like a factory, or these were like, okay. Right here in Springfield. Right here in Springfield. Mm -hmm. Red solo, the, the solo, mm -hmm. solo factory, is that what it was? Uh -huh. What was your job for making the red solo cups? Uh, well, it's complicated. I want to know. Uh, I ran a giant blanking machine. Is, are you just trying not to swear? <laughs> right. <laughs> yes. We're going to bleep that out later so it sounds really bad. A blanking machine? What's that? It's got this big a press, and when the rolls of the stuff come through, uh -huh. it presses out, the, and then another department makes the, the cup. Okay. So, no, that's fine. So then, so then your, the employees are getting together Friday afternoon after, after work. What, are you taking cups out of inventory? Yeah, we do. <laughs> Kathy wins. I'm going to go back on stage. <laughs> All right. Audience members, they're interesting, one of them. Hey, 2020 is going to be a big year. Uh, we got presidential election, Olympics, uh, leap year, leap day, whatever it is, leap, 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 just all kinds of things. We are leapercons, we are leapercons, here every four years and then we're gone, we are leapercons. desk before. Oh, I'm a madman. Bring me a cigarette. Oh, I'm the boss. You're fired. Give me some coffee. <laughs> Wait, okay. Leprechauns. I'm up here. Leprechauns. What? Oh, honey. What, what are you? What was that, honey? Look, a human. We've never actually seen a real live human awake before. <laughs> what are you Wait, so you you've never about? heard of leprechauns before? No. We show up every four years on February 29th, and we tell people turn over a new leaf through our whimsical songs and rhymes. Yeah, we're basically like the beloved mascot of Leap Year. Oh, so like the Easter Bunny. Oh, no, 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 no. We are nothing like the Easter Bunny. He's a real fluffer nutter, okay? He hops. And we leap, obviously. obviously. Okay, okay, so more like Santa? No, 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 no. We are nothing like Santa. <laughs> he is a real pot belly porcupine. He comes down the chimney and brings you presents. And we come up through the basement and steal your socks. <laughs> or as we like to call them, sleeping bags. We basically sleep in, while, or we sneak in while you're asleep and then sneak out without you even knowing. Oh, so like the, the tooth fairy. 
Harry. That guy's a real barnacle Billy. He's, he steals your teeth. That's gross. And weird. Okay, okay, I'm still not getting, I need you to tell me more what you do. Okay, okay, okay here we go. One, two, three. Down in the basement and on your lawn, here comes good old leprechauns. We steal your socks to make our beds, then steal the bad thoughts from your head. Leap, 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 while you're asleep. Con, 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 we steal your thoughts. Oh, oh stop. <laughs> what are you talking about? Singing about, we were singing. And rhyming, it's kind of our whole thing. Okay, I don't get what your whole thing is. We are trying, trying to, to tell you. In songs. And rhymes. What is the deal with this guy? I thought humans were supposed to be excited I to know. see us. I know, he's a real hot-headed gadzooks. I can hear you. Oh, 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 oh Jeff, we're sorry. We just get so sad. When nobody knows who we are. Uh, uh, oh. Okay. Uh, Okay. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Explain it to me again. All, All right. right. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. Leapercons, leapercons, here to save the day. Stealing all your past regrets and wiping them away. Hey! Okay, wait, wait. So now I get, now while I'm sleeping, you climb in my head and, and make me forget everything I've been ashamed about for the last four years? You got it. You got it. It's so, so easy. easy. It's like that time a few years ago when you drank that energy drink Lewis gave you, then you straight through the ba ba baseball game while singing Mambo Number no. 5. He did it. He did it. All right. Oh, no, no. Our I don't think that happened. Well, well, what about the time that you got kicked out of Family Game Night Pictionary after you watched too much Cinemax? I, <laughs> I, I'm certain that didn't happen. Well, we always get a jovial chuckle from this last one. Yes, but we can't say the whole thing on TV. So, so come on down here. Come here. Come here. Oh. Closer. Closer. Okay. The thermos incident. Boarding pass. Oh. oh, that bird was still alive. Farmer Dorothy. Oh, pickling it. <laughs> Backwards water slide. All right, all right. I don't, I don't know about that. I think I won't regret this, though. Well. Here they are, the leprechauns. <laughs> that comedy bit brought to you by BRS CPAs and Advisors. Closed captioning provided by Paragon Architecture. to do let me give you an overview hike the hills enjoy the view outdoor adventures to pursue escape a room and solve a clue unique museums to look into couples massage with your boo and do some shopping just for you branson woohoo you won't believe it until you do more shows than you even knew amusement parks with shorter queues so much cuisine for you to choose seafood italian and barbecue log cabins fit your whole crew a tired parents rendezvous family time to feel brand new i think we just had a breakthrough branson woohoo you won't believe it until you do 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 your vacation is overdue Woo! The Mystery Hour is brought to you by 92.9 The Beat. Guest booking provided by Gig Salad. Hey, welcome back. We have a very fascinating guest. We also have a fascinating guest sponsor. History Museum on the Square, recently voted by the readers of USA Today the best new attraction in America on the 10 best list. It's pretty close. Yeah. Hey, our guest tonight, um, you may recognize him from very classic shows like Parker Lewis Can't Lose, Stargate, 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 SG-1, The Stand, and tons of other things. Please put your hands together for Corin Nemich. Is that how 
how you enter all rooms? It is. I it like is. it. Yes. That's the way to do it. Yes. I always enter constipated. <laughs> and how do you leave? Not constipated. <laughs> hey. Testing, testing. Is this thing on? Testing. We can't tell. <laughs> so, um, to the, to the, uh, Parker Lewis Can't Lose came out in what year? Uh, 1990 to 93. Yeah, was, so uh, I was, was like 12 run. when it started, which is oh, like. Oh, good, there's a couple of people that remember it. Yeah. <laughs> You're showing your age. Right. But there is like a certain age, like if, if, if I was in my 20s and I probably wasn't watching it, if I was five, Actually, I wasn't watching Actually, we had it, a like... huge college following. Oh, did you really? Oh, yeah. Because it was mean, so like irreverent and yeah, weird. Yeah, it was, it was just an absolute massive college following. We used to do college tours, uh, the, the press junkets and stuff, and do the yeah. college radio and all of that. And, uh, and I, I actually got into a, uh, a, a drinking contest with a linebacker from Pittsburgh University. <laughs> uh, he was gigantic. And I, I, I won in a very sneaky way. Um, he, we were doing some shots of Jack Daniels, and yeah. I realized very soon into it that it was going to be a losing battle for me if I didn't think, think up a, 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 a clever way of winning very right. quickly. So I decided I was very familiar with well, Jack Daniels, but I was, I was also very familiar with uh, Corvassier, mm -hmm. and I was also very familiar with cognac, the way they tasted. But I knew that this college guy had never tasted a cognac or a Corvassier yeah. in his life. Yeah. So I said, we're going to do three shots left, we're gonna, and I get to pick them. He's like, all right, so we'll do the Jack, and then we're going to do a Corvassier, and then we're going to do a cognac. And he's like, uh, what's that? And I was like, all right. So we did, the, we did the Jack, he was fine. He did the Corvassier, he was like, um, um. <laughs> and he did the cognac, and he just project out all over the bar. To the, the cheers of adoration of all of his teammates. That you won. Uh, that I won. That feels like. I, I didn't win the next day, though. I can tell you that. The yeah, next I'm day sure. was a losing moment for this guy. Woo. That, that feels like a Parker Lewis type move to do. It totally was. Yeah. It totally was. So you, uh, here's what I remember. I'm sure everyone does like, this is what I remember of you. <laughs> but uh, I just remember uh, as I was 12 to like 15 being like, I want hair like he has. Yes, you, well, you would need at least 45 minutes in the hair chair yeah. uh, with a lot of Aquanet and uh, some, some serious energy use on the blow dryer. Yeah. Uh, I used to, uh, it, it took so long to get my hair done in that show that I, I had them get me a, uh, a neck brace because I would nod off because we'd be doing my hair at like 5 in the morning, you know, and I'm exhausted. So I, I, I kept nodding off because it was like 45 minutes for my hair, so yeah. they got me a neck brace. So then I'd just, I'd just fall asleep. That's and, amazing. And then they just nudge me away and my hair would be done. I'd be like, oh, great. I was like, can we just do my makeup this way too? <laughs> just, but then one day, the, uh, somebody, I guess, uh, somebody wasn't aware of what my shtick was and uh, had ran up uh -huh. to the producers and were like, Corn's in the, in the makeup trailer. He's in a neck brace. And they're like, oh my God, he's in a neck brace. And they freak out and they go, all, all the producers go marching down and they come into the, the they're, what's wrong? It's right out. I'm like, no, 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 it's fine. My neck is fine. Just, <laughs> it's just, so when I fall asleep, when I get my hair done. I, I like that <laughs> for regular life though. I know. Tell me about it. Wouldn't that be great? Yeah. yeah or at least just like awesome. on a flight because neck pillows, get out of here. They're worthless. They're, yeah, oh no, yeah, they, yeah, you need just one of those spongy neck braces. That's the way to do it. Yeah. 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 Oh. It wasn't the kind that's got the needles that go into your head and all of that. It wasn't one of those ones. That yeah. would have been too much. Yeah, that would have been a little too much. So, uh, but there are plenty of people that have great success as, as a child actor that don't, it doesn't translate beyond that. But then you're able to do lots and lots of things. I, you know, um, it, it is kind of a miracle for my generation. Not, not a whole lot of, uh, of the actors that were in my peer group really yeah. continued acting for the most part. Yeah. Um, but uh, I really attribute it just to the fact that I, I, I didn't shrug off auditioning. I was just like, okay. I'll, I'll audition, I don't care. I, I just yeah. let, I let go of the ego of all of that. And I think that helped a lot because you know, you can get a big ego as an actor and think, oh, why aren't they just hiring me? They should know what I do and uh -huh. they should know how good I am or whatever. And, uh, yeah. and, uh, but, but maybe they don't. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe you got to go in there and show them. Yeah. Maybe they so, want to see you want to. Maybe they want, yeah. Maybe yeah. they want to see you want it. Yeah. So, uh, so I don't, I don't mind that the auditioning process. Uh, also, it just kind of keeps me on my toes a little bit. Yeah. Too, I suppose you know? so. So yeah. Stargate SG1 comes around and did you, I don't know if like now I feel like a good sci-fi show, you're like, that's gonna have a cult following for sure. Did you know then 
Well, I didn't have Showtime. Okay. Uh, because the Stargate was on Showtime um, for the first five seasons. Mm -hmm. And then Sci-Fi Channel picked it up uh, because Showtime had only bought five seasons. Okay. So um, when, when, you know, when it made that, uh, that move over, I had never seen any of the episodes, but I was a huge fan of the movie. Uh -huh. The movie I loved. And yeah. uh, uh, when I got the part, I just didn't, you know, I, I had no idea that it had such a massive following. I'd never been to a convention in my life, you know, these uh -huh. Comic-Con style things. That really freaked me out. I was, <laughs> I it bet. was just, the first one I went to was in Vegas too. And of course, I'm, uh, Vegas is just a terrible place. Oh, God. <laughs> I hate Vegas. It's the sort of place where you get into a competition with a Pittsburgh linebacker. Yes, exactly, exactly. Yeah. Uh, so, but you lose in Vegas. No one ever wins no in Vegas. No one wins in Vegas. No one wins in Vegas. Yeah. So, uh, and I imagine then, like, for a regular TV show, you're shooting, you got the crew, you got the, the cast, but, yeah, you don't have a sense of, of, of the following, but then when you go to something like that, it's yeah. kind of... Yeah, yeah, it was it was mind blowing. It was really mind blowing. I, I, yeah. I mean, I was just completely uh, perplexed by the whole. Now I love it because I've yeah. traveled all over the world doing yeah. these conventions. All I, I, and I, I found out that I'm, 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 I have a much bigger following and a lot more fame in Europe. Uh, <laughs> you got the Hasselhoff. Yes, I got the Hasselhoff effect. Yeah, uh, especially in France. Yeah, I'm famous in France. I'm gonna get the shirt. It's just gonna. I was going to say, I'm famous in France on it right there. That would be great to um, just sell to everyone. Because yes, everyone totally. can claim that. <laughs> anyone can claim that, exactly. <laughs> Except Gerard Depardieu. He's like, I'm famous in America. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> exactly. When, I, when, I, when I'm in France and when I do some of the events, they, they, they always ask me who my, uh, who my favorite French actor is. And I always say Peter Sellers. And they're like, huh? And he goes, Inspector Clouseau. <laughs> He's and French, right? They get a little offended. They're yeah. like, but he was English. And I'm like, it's called a joke. <laughs> uh, um, you know, don't... the French humor. Yeah, they're known for that. So <laughs> we don't have too much time to get into this. But one thing I think is fascinating about you is that you've also been a graffiti artist for years. Yes, that, I mean, you know, being graffiti art, one tends to keep it a secret, but now he's True. blown oh, my True, oh shoot, cover. I'm sorry. He's blown my cover. I no, broke I, the code. I, uh, yeah, I mean, I started doing graffiti art when I was 10 years old, uh, yeah. when I was into the breakdancing scene and all of that, and uh, when I moved from Atlanta to LA, I really, really got into it. Um, well, it became quite prolific. Um, it, not all of it was legal. Right, I but, imagine so. Uh, but I, it was, became a, a real passion of mine, yeah. and, uh, and I, still, I still do it to this day. I've traveled all over the world doing street art and, and uh, murals and, and stuff. Uh, and it's just one of those weird little things I do in the background. I have a, yeah. I have a separate Instagram for it uh, called The169, so it's the word The, T-H-E, uh -huh. and then the number 169, yeah. the 169. Okay. So if you go on Instagram that and, and you look it up, you'll see uh, a bunch of my... Uh, my street art and, uh, and uh, graffiti murals. Well, we're gonna give everyone a chance to go do that right now. We're gonna take a commercial break. A so commercial everyone break. go on Instagram now and you can find out what he's up to. There he is, Corin Nemich. <laughs> Travel and accommodations provided by Hotel Vanderbilt. The Mystery Hour is brought to you by the Springfield, Missouri Convention and Visitors Bureau. To learn all about the incredible experiences you can have right here, visit springfieldmo.org. OTC, the official educational provider of the Mystery Hour. Musical guest brought to you by Bear Village. Hey, welcome back, everybody. We have a tremendous musical guest. Put your hands together for Abby Waterworth. my eye on 
Jason. Jason's got his eye on Dee. Dee's got her eye on Buddy. Nobody's got an eye on me. Saints all claim to be sinners. Sinners all claim to be saints. In town they call us up for dinner, but everybody knows it ain't right. Folks on the bank cast out to the middle. Folks in the boats cast back to the bank. Make a lemon cream pie and a kittle. Just eat the whipped cream. Rang, dang, a lang, dang, a lang. Dang, a lang. I'm wide awake at bedtime, sleepy when it's time to get up. I like my tea bone rare and my toast a little burn up. you think about it what do you think about that folks on the bank cast out to the middle folks in the boats cast back to the bank the real is too big but the ship's too little i'd rather be an orangutan bang a lang bang a lang i'd swing back and forth for the fifth the fifth of mash we'll knock you on your back and forth for the fifth the fifth of mash we'll knock you on your back and some men want to be women some women want to be Other lovers just want to be friends. Some stripes want to be polka dots, polka dots want to be flat. Last man wants to be cheetah spots, cheetah spots want to be corduroy, corduroy, corduroy. Oh boy, folks on the bank cast out to the middle, folks in the boats cast back to the bank. Happiness, all it takes is a little bit of love and a friend to give a dang, 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 dang. Folks on the bank cast out to the middle. Folks in the boats cast back to the bay. Folks in the bay cast out to the middle. Folks in the boats cast back to the bay. That's our show tonight, everybody. 10% of our box office proceeds goes to the Dream Center. We'll see you guys next week. Craft services provided by Big Whiskey. 